Okay, today I will demonstrate a reaction for making uh, magnesium carbonate and some sodium sulfate and also a little bit of magnesium hydroxide. Now this is a precipitation reaction and it's a good reaction for introducing people to precipitation, which is a reaction where one of the products formed is not soluble in the solvent and so it goes out of the solution. What will happen when I do this reaction is the whole solution will turn milky white because the particles of magnesium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide precipitate out. So what you will need is water, um, some magnesium sulfate, or any other magnesium salt, but magnesium sulfate is readily available and it's known as Epsom salt. You also need some sodium carbonate, which I made by heating sodium bicarbonate, which is baking soda, in a pan for about 20 minutes. So the recipe is three parts magnesium sulfate to one part sodium carbonate by volume. So here I have um, half a tablespoon of magnesium sulfate, which you can see is 7.5 milliliters. Divide that by three, you get 2.5 milliliters, and that's exactly what half a teaspoon is. So I have half a tablespoon of magnesium sulfate and half a teaspoon of sodium carbonate. Now all you need to do is put these two into a solution of water. Here I'm doing separate solutions so then when I mix it, it's cooler. And I'm going to let these two dissolve and I'll be back. So I've been stirring for a while and now both chemicals are dissolved. I had to add a bit more water to the magnesium sulfate solution because some of it wasn't dissolving. The amount of water you need to add is just enough to dissolve all the material because the more water you add, the less spectacular the reaction is. Also, the harder it is to extract the solids afterwards because the more, less water, the more concentrated the solution, the more those particles agglomerate, and the larger they are, the easier, it is, the easier it is to separate them out. So I'm going to have here a mixing chamber. Now, I'm going to mix both together simultaneously, because that's just cool, and watch carefully. Instantly turned milky white. Uh, sorry if you can't really see that well. Okay, now you can see it. Shine this laser pointer through it, and you can see how it's milky white. Shine it from above. That looks cool. So while it reacts a bit more, I'm going to uh, explain the science behind the reaction. Just back a little. Paper's a bit wet from the water everywhere. So, the reactants are magnesium sulfate and sodium carbonate. You see that? Okay, this gives you a dis double displacement reaction, which means more rea these two dissociate into ions in the water. You have positive sodium, negative carbonate, positive magnesium, negative sulfate. And since sodium is more reactive than magnesium, it displaces that from this chemical. Uh, sorry if I'm making myself hard to understand. But it replaced magnesium basically because it's more stable with this. And since uh, sulfate ions are more reactive than carbonate, it displaces the carbonate here, which means you get, sorry for the fans, I'm not sure why these air conditioners are coming on. So what happens in the end, you get sodium sulfate and magnesium, bring this inward so you can see better. Magnesium carbonate and a bit of magnesium hydroxide because the carbonate ions form carbonic acid and hydroxide hydroxide something ions in the water and hydroxide something ions react with the magnesium too. So both these chemicals can't be dissolved in water, at least not very well, and they're white. So they precipitate out and form solids in the liquid, a suspension of these particles. And 
that's why this becomes milky white and looks exactly like dairy, dairy milk. Sorry for my pronunciation. <laughs> so that's all. It's a great reaction to demonstrate precipitation. And if you want to extract the magnesium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide from that solution, you could centrifuge it or you could filter it, but really the simplest way and pretty effective too. Take a paper towel and thicken it a little so it absorbs more water. Put it on a table and just pour a bit of the solution on. A cream will rest on the top of the paper, you just scrape that off. That's your magnesium carbonate and magnesium hydroxide. As for the uh, sodium sulfate, uh, I guess you could just take the wet paper towel and wring the water out of it. So that's all. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something.